David Martindale is with Rory Hamilton. David, can I have your reaction to that 4-0 in the end? Was that harsh on your side? No, not really. Um, I think the first goal is harsh. I think it's a foul on Jamie. You can clearly see the, the push on him, but I think that's really harsh and how it can go to VAR because it's a phasey play for the goal and it still gets allowed. Frustrating. Um, then we're spooked a wee bit, if I'm honest, at that point. I think it took us 15, 20 minutes to get to grips with the game. We got to grips with the game, managed to get in at half time, a couple of wee tweaks, and I thought we started the second half really well. And then we gave away a cheap second goal, so avoidable. So avoidable. Um, Rangers obviously take confidence in that, get a wee bit of momentum from that. And the third goal's a really poor goal from our point of view to lose. Game's done at that point. I know it goes 4 0, but game's done at that point. Very, very similar to being at Ibrox in the league. Give them an early goal, start the second half fairly well, give away a cheap second goal, and then at least the four goals. And that's a disappointing aspect for me. I'm sitting in there speaking to my staff, speaking to the players, and we've gave 11 goals away. 11 goals away against the old firm. Do you know what? That's, it's, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. And I'll need to look at that. Does that first goal? When you're setting out your game plan, is that the, really the key incident? Is it clear and obvious enough for you for that to be overturned? But <laughs> it doesn't need to be clear and obvious if it's a goal. It goes back to the phase of play when the ball was in play and then any infringement from when it was in play. So it's a foul. In my opinion, it's a foul. So why is the goal stood? So <laughs> it's led to a goal. It doesn't need to be obvious, surely, at that point, because it's part of the phase of play that led to a goal. So, disappointing, because you're coming here and you're trying to keep the crowd quiet as possible. So the game plan is, you get behind the ball, we try and frustrate, and then we ball ourselves into the game. I think it's a foul, or nobody's going to convince me in it, and otherwise it's not a foul. So I think it's a foul, it's not given. Um, and I think that's got a huge bearing on the dynamics of the game going forward. I don't think we laid a glove in Rangers at times tonight. I thought we gave them a wee bit too easy. But I did feel we finished the half fairly well once we got to grips after maybe 20, 25 minutes. But the first goal doesn't help that at all in terms of the early stages of the game. It lets the crowd get into it, it gives them a wee cushion, makes the game a bit harder for ourselves to get any kind of foothold in the game. So then we get into that mid-third spell and I think we do OK within that mid-third spell. And actually playing some nice football and then we give away a cheap second goal and then at least a, a third and a fourth, which in my opinion is not good enough. You'll be looking for a big reaction for the weekend away to St Johnson. Is it is a huge game for you? I had to try and make two or three changes tonight. They had two or three players potentially coming in on Saturday. It's a huge game for us. That's the consequences of competitive football and winning games of football. You end up in the last stages of the cup football, but it can be detrimental to your league performances. So... Got a big performance ahead of us, big game ahead of us. I need to make sure the boys are ready to go at McDermott Park. David, thanks for your time. Thank you. Okay.